after talking with many business owners, we discovered that some businesses do not want a thousand more customers. What they're looking for is loyal customers that can carry them through the slow season. Some may only need two or three. So the question is, what's the secret to getting these loyal customers that promote your business? Would you like to find out? Stay tuned. I'm going to go over five different reasons and I'm going to put it in a form of a tree trunk. Reason number five, you need to know your customers. You got to talk to them. You got to find out what they want. Find out why they purchase. Were you just the cheapest on the menu? Or were you the filet mignon on the menu? You got to decide that. You got to talk to them. Identify where your customers fit in your tree. And no, I'm not talking a binary network marketing tree. I'm talking a literal tree. You're going to find that some customers are like roots. You really don't see them, but they're always supporting you. They're always recommending people to you, but you never really see them. You need to know who those people are. Then you have strong tree trunks. And don't worry, you won't hurt their feelings. These are the people that you can visually see. These are the people that you bounce ideas off of. You don't have to ask them for recommendations. They're going to come to your business and tell you what's up. Number three, you're going to have customers that are like tree branches. They buy from you, but don't pressure them too much because you, they can't take that much pressure. They come in, they buy, whether you have a brick and mortar store or if you have an online store, every periodically you'll see them make a purchase. But don't push them to make any more purchases than they don't want to. They're not strong enough for that. They might not even recommend people. They might tell people, but they won't go through the trouble of connecting you too. You might just see them pop up. This brings me to number two. Some customers are like leaves. What you see is that they're good enough for that one-time purchase, but you cannot rely on them to be there all the time. You can't even build your business around them. They're great for shade. Now, I don't mean throwing shade. I mean, literally, they're great for that one-time purchase. You, you're looking to make your quota in a month. Yeah, those leads will come in handy because they'll make that one-time purchase for you. These people aren't even on the tree. They're the seeds. These are the prospects. They're the, they're, they're the, they're inside of the fruits on the tree. And no, I didn't, I didn't call them fruits. I call them the seeds in the fruit. You, you can't count how many trees you can get from a seed but you can definitely break the fruit open and see how many seeds are inside and just in case you're wondering that's it for this short episode let me tie this all together know your customers because out of your customers comes all your new customers out of your customers comes what you need to sustain your business as you move them from strangers to super fans or what we call super fan spokespersons. These are customers that go out and promote your business for you. Nurture them. That's that secret. Nurture. Nurture those customers. Nurture those seeds. You got to plant the seeds. Give them education. That's it for this episode.